Hi friends and welcome back to the Baseball Card Illustrated channel. I'm Bronco, the PSA 11, and this is Card Show Day. We're at the Sheridan on John Nolan Drive for the May edition of the Madison Card Show. As you can see, it's setup time right here. And hopefully somewhere along the way, I give away $50 to somebody who picks the right card. That's right, there's a bounty card, we'll call it. And if somebody purchases it, they get $50 plus the card they have selected. Anyway, we'll see if we can give that away throughout the course of the day here. And along with that, we'll give you the official setup here in a little bit and give you the picks to click for today's edition. And setup is complete. Here's a look at what I have put out here as we hit the eight o'clock hour. We got the rookie box here. Various baseball autographs priced as marked. All of our brewers, including the sweet Christian Yelich addition to the collection. Satisfying local fans, we got the Green Bay Packers, some nice Christian Watson stuff and some Jordan Love. Our box of various basketball and football autographs priced as marked. Our Bucks collection. And of course the dollar box. And for every $10 you spend in here, you get a free mystery bonus envelope that has a card. There's autographs, there's relics, there's Bo Jackson rookie cards, good stuff in there. And of course, as we've talked about, we'll have our $50 bounty today. If someone purchases the correct card, they get a crisp $50 bill. And as for our picks to click, I'm going to say that the card that will sell today is going to be this guy here, Gilbert Brown. Nice signature marks autograph of the popular former Packer. As for the card that will not sell today, I'm going to say, I like this card, but I just don't think it will today. It's this from the World Baseball Classic. Show, show, show Yotani striking out Mike Trout to end the World Baseball Classic. Now let's sit back, relax, and enjoy and see how things go from the Madison Card Show. And don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you remember the setup of this case that I showed you earlier in the video, you'll notice that the pick to click has already been purchased. So I'm one for one today on that. Not too often that I do that. And I actually did that before the actual start time of the show. It's about 8.48 right now. Show doesn't open till nine, but I'm not gonna press my luck and pick another pick to click and see if I can do that again. However, if you're wondering, the $50 bounty card, that's still on the table. Here's a quick look around the room about two hours into the show. Traffic's been a little bit light today because as you can see a little bit through the windows there, the weather outside is probably gorgeous. There's also a festival out there called Bratfest here in Madison. Anyway, just kind of a look at where things are going in terms of what's in the case. A few things have been replaced since the last look around. And Showtime and friend Michael here have been talking about this Jared Aberderis. Who has the card now? It's, done. The card. it's done. Oh, the, the deal's the done? Match. All right, so we got the A and the D, and we figured out that this is Badgers, right? Not Aberderis? Yep. All right, so what, what did we end up working out? So he got all these bronze. Showtime, if you're not aware, is a big Ryan Braun super collector. A couple refractors out of 199 and and I get some cash out of it as well. But. So you got some letters and some lettuce. <laughs> Officially the first sale of the day. <laughs> We've got about 90 minutes left in the show and you'll see what card is still there. Although somebody did pick it up and look at it a little bit ago, but did not pull the $50 card out and purchase it. So the $50 is still in my pocket. What was purchased, however, is a nice assortment of cards out of here, including a number of really nice Bo Jackson cards. And then the card that they got out of the bonus mystery envelope was a 1987 design Christian Yelich. But it was a gold refractor, so it was a pretty good pull. Just not the one that they actually wanted. But that's okay, we're still having fun here at the Madison Card Show. My second trade of the day took place with the cards that you see on the left. Those are the ones I gave up and I acquired a Rick Smith's autograph card, and this one here of Rowdy Telez. Gotta love some Rowdy Roddy. This is my biggest deal of the day up to this point. We got a whole bunch of old bucks here. We got Ricky Pierce, Terry Cummings. You see Quinn Buckner, Marcus Johnson, Jack Sigma loved him as a kid. Vin Baker, Brooke Lopez, a current buck, and Bobby, 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 Bobby Portis, Ray Allen, and of course, not a buck, 
the great Robin Yount, the kid. And that's a wrap from the Madison Card Show. Pretty successful day. Attendance down a little bit because it's beautiful weather, holiday weekend, but I'm still happy with everything and how it turned out. Gets the big Bronco thumbs up. Now you're wondering, the picks to click. Gilbert Brown, as I talked about early in the video, did sell. Shohei Otani striking out Mike Trout. That was a strikeout. It did not sell. And for those of you playing along at home, the $50 card did not sell. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to take that to Oak Creek. Next week, Fat Daddy's Card Show, we're going to put those $50 into this. If you buy the pick to click, you'll get $20. Bucks. If you buy the pick to click that I do not think will sell, you're going to get $30. Bucks. So that'd be something to look forward to next Saturday. And that's at the Salvation Army in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Anyway, on behalf of Kevin the Diamond King, our graphics guru Dylan, and of course, our video photographer extraordinaire Showtime, who's gonna be on assignment here in a minute over at Broadfest, I'm Bronco, the PSA 11. So long, everybody. You've been watching the Baseball Card Illustrated channel.